Okay, so it's me here again, T Bolt Maniac. And to, and I made a couple new um sirens. As you can see I built a little platform. A and a couple new ones and a new pl viewing platform which is like a museum and my first one of them all is my Model A and I did recently build it it is this, this is my one of my it is one of my smallest sirens in real life that is my smallest siren but in Lego it's my third second or third biggest the next we got the Chrysler Bell air raid siren and again this is my biggest siren but my second tallest my tallest is my Thunderbolt 1003 and then in a later video I will show you how to turn it into 1003 but really it's super obvious how it is a 1003 just add a three by one, and then yes, I am using a pillow as a background, so I don't have anything else right now at my disposal. Okay, so what I'm gonna, oh yeah, and here's me. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so what I'm gonna be showing you how to do today is how to build one of these Chrysler Bell air raid signs. And there are a lot of pieces to it. I say I suggest go to a Lego store or Lego Land or a place that has Legos, but not buying a big set just for the couple pieces because I learned that kind of the hard way by bu buying a set with pieces that I needed, but I didn't need the rest of the pieces, so I just ended up putting away all the other pieces. Uh, so, just to warn you about that, and I don't want any bad comments on. Please, please tell me on what else I should. On what else I should make. Other siren suggestions? Okay, well, I'll cut to the good stuff. Cut to the chase and get to the good stuff. Okay, what you're gonna need, first of all, is a 6x8 flat one doesn't matter what color then you're going to need one of these um, rotating disc things kind of common in some sets then what you're going to want to do is take your four uh, six by eight and take your spinny thingy whatever it's called and then put it on here and then it should be able to rotate and then I will show you the features of the sun then you're going to want Three, uh, three of these two by four pieces. Okay, so then next you want to put one right there. Then next you're going to want to put another one right here. And then another one right here. And then you want to get a four by one <coughs> like this and then you're going to want to place it right here so now it should look like this and mine's is out of color so who cares next we're going to work on the the uh, lever part the the thing that engages the chopper and the sign you want two of these kind of roof tile pieces. Then next, you're gonna we're gonna work on one right now. So next, you're gonna want to take a three by one, put it right here. Take a two by two, put it right there. So now it should look like this. Then next, you're gonna want to take a one of these connector things, put it right there. Then you're going to want to take the other one of these tiles and see where you have this hanging over. 
put this tile like this over it. So it should look like this by now. Then take mm, a three by one piece. You only want to put it right there. So it should look like this. So you don't that part. You set it down for now. Next we're going to work on the chopper and the horns. Go on to these discs. About as big as my palm. You're going to take one of them. Take one of these connecto pieces. Stick it right there. And take the other disc. And set it right on top. So it should look like this. With some excess hanging over. I do not know how to fix that, but some of you more talented ones with one talented people can modify it and make it look better than mine. Okay, so then just set this down for right now. Next we're gonna actually work on the real horns of it. Okay, so you're gonna take a six by two flat. Take one of these little cones, well, you're going to need six of them, put one up on top right like this, take another, put the right there, put one right, skip a row, put one right here, put another one right next to it, so it should look like this by now. Then skip a row, put one like this, and one like this, and then you can like break off this little part right here so it looks more like that, okay? And then modify it. Yeah. So next you're going to want to take this. And find the middle of this piece. And stick it right there. So now it should look like that. So then you're going to want to take these little connector thingies. Like, and then put one on like this. So it should look like this. Take the other one. And do the same thing. Okay. And you want to going to take this piece that we worked on earlier, put it right here. So now it should more look like a horn. Then put that little switch right here so it looks more authentic. Then take this, stick it right there. So now we're going to work on the motor house. It's taking shape. So what we're going to want to do is take a 2x4 and stick it right there but next go on and take another 2x4 and stick it right behind them so now it should be looking like this then you're going to want to take another 2x4 put it right there another one put on right on top of that so now it should start more looking more like a Chrysler bell next now we're going to work on the roof one you're going to want four 2 by 4s for this. You can put one, two right there, and two right there. So it should look like this. Then you're going to want these flat tiles, as I call them. Stick one right there. Stick another one right across from it. Stick one right there. And stick around right there. There you go. You built your own Chrysler Bell Air Raid Siren. The loudest siren in the world. That's it. Alright. And since I'm thinking about it, to converge a 1000 to a 1003, so you're 1000, go on to take off the horn, get a 3 by one Stick it in where the horn socket is, so it should look like this. Take it, stick it right in the middle there. There you go, got your 1003. Okay, well, this is my updated siren, my how-to on a Chrysler Bell, and my other how-to on to transform a 1000 to a 1003. Well, I guess I can say bye for now. This, uh, so... Bye.